just noticing physically, mentally, emotionally, how is that affecting the breath? sensing in the body. Allowing ourselves for the next hour to let go of some of the things we don't have control over. Really tuning in to sensations in the body, the breath, is fully present in our practice this morning as we can. So starting with our alternate nostril breathing, taking right hand and tucking index and middle finger in, go ahead and close the right nostril, exhale out the left, inhale through the left, Closing the right, or sorry, the left nostril with the pinky and ring finger, and exhaling. And then inhaling through the right. Closing. And exhaling left. Just keeping this pattern going for a few more rounds of breath. Allowing the breath to naturally slow and deepen. And perhaps on the next exhale, checking in and seeing if you brought your head forward to meet the hand. So allowing the spine to find a natural <coughs> alignment. And noticing the stability of your seat. the right, tipping that left hip down, finding space, and 
and still maintaining that sense of stability in the seat, that security of the root, staying supported with that left hand. One more breath here, getting a little bit more length and space. And exhale, hand coming down. Take a moment to notice, was that helpful or useful? What did that do for you? Reaching up and on the exhale, tipping towards the left, tipping that right hip down. Again, stability through the seat, security. Noticing that open quality through that right side. Continuing to breathe. And on an exhale, bringing the hand down. And from here, go ahead and take the legs out in front. <laughs> best we can up nice and tall and so we notice a lot of times that that puts a little strain on the hip flexor so take the arms up overhead and notice how that relieves some of that tension there and from here let's go ahead and just take a couple of breaths allowing the entire rib cage so not just the front not just coming into a back bend but allowing the entire rib cage and the arms so it's okay for the arms this is how we move for the arms to come up towards the ears so keep lifting, lengthening, finding space. And then start to pull the toes back so that we notice and feel connected and grounded to our legs. So awareness moving up and down at the same time. Balancing like our Hatha Yoga, right? Ha means sun, Tha means movement. So balancing those opposites. And from here, go ahead and start to lean in, keeping the flexion in the feet. So those hamstrings are tugging a little bit here. And now go ahead and soften, and then bring the hands down, find some support here, and slowly make your way into your forward fold. And again, it's up to you to decide, do you want more stretch in the back? And if so, bend the knees and fold over a little bit more, or is your intention to stretch the legs? And if that's the case, keep the legs straight, leaning in, or anything in between. So our practice is for us to explore how we're feeling today with the body we brought with us. So one more nice full breath. Make sure you're completely exhaling, right? 70% of our waste comes out through our breath. So empty those lungs fully. And as you inhale, slowly rising back up. And we'll do our hip opener, our Jhana Shrishasana. So taking the left knee up, folding out towards the side. And again, making sure there's stability in the pelvis. <laughs> inhale, arms coming overhead. Exhale, folding out over that leg. slightly leveling the shoulders so if you notice that you're tipping towards the right maybe dropping that left shoulder or perhaps turning the head to the right on the inhale coming back up and switching sides here so right knee folds out towards the side making sure that we're sitting up on those sit bones feeling grounded inhale exhale folding out over the leg tucking the chin towards the left. On the inhale, coming back up. And doing a seated twist. So remember we want to be gentle as we visit our first twist today. So go ahead and extend the left leg. Step the right foot over. And if that causes your pelvis to be really off balance, Keep the foot here right so 
circling the right arm up and around, positioning it behind so we have that support, and then very gently turning to the right, lead with the heart. Right? So we kind of have this illusion that we're getting a big twist by turning our head a lot, but really your twist should come from your thoracic portion of the spine. Flex that left foot so that we feel grounded and stable. There's tension in the jaw or the shoulders. See if you can soften a little bit. And one more exhale, squeezing the abdominal muscles in. And on the inhale, slowly returning. And moving to the other side, placing the foot down or stepping over. Circle the left arm up and around. Finding that stability behind and then rotating, again leading with the heart, turning to the left. Engage that right foot and continue to breathe here. from the jaw or the shoulders. One more long exhale. And slowly coming back to center. From here, let's go ahead and make our way into our table. <coughs> Our phones would shut off by now, but it's still <laughs> thumbing away back there. So um, it's nice to have something to put under the knees or double up your mat a little bit. Um, I've even used socks, so <laughs> whatever supports you. Hands coming out just a little bit in front of the shoulders, right, to make sure that we're taking care of our wrists. And coming into your stable table, so making sure the abdominal muscles are engaged to support the back. And from here, go ahead and sit back into child's. Pressing the hands down and making sure that the neck is long so it's like you couldn't pull water in the back of your neck. Right? And on an exhale, if it's okay for your knees, allowing the sit bones to sink towards the heels. Notice the breath here. How it expands across the upper back. We'll make our way up, rounding into cat. On an exhale, coming into cow. Inhaling back to table. And exhale, sitting back into child's. We'll do that flow a couple more times. Inhaling, rounding in cat. So that's a little different. Exhale, lengthen the front of the body, from the navel to the chin, and then inhale back to table, and one more time. Exhale, sitting back, child's pose. Inhale, rounding in cat. Exhale, lengthening in cow. And then back to table. From table, go ahead and tuck the toes under and just start to sit back towards the heels. So stretching the feet a little bit, Achilles, making sure all the toes are down. <laughs> Not super comfy. <laughs> a couple more breaths here. And doing that kind of scan, checking in physically, mentally, emotionally. towards the front of the mat to make sure that you don't run out of mat. We're going to take the right foot and extend it back, tucking the toes under, placing the toes on the mat, and now pressing into that heel. So making sure that we're stretching <clears throat> the muscles of the back of the legs, warming those up before we go into some of our other postures. 
check in and make sure that the torso feels like it's still um, in your table and not in a cat or a cow here. And releasing that side and then extending the other leg, tucking the toes under. Good, pressing into the, from the heels of the hands. Allowing that weight to transfer all the way down into the heel. Continue to breathe here. It's also a good place to check in with the stability of the arms and the upper body as we start to move into some other postures that require us to keep aligned and stable. So are the elbow pits facing one another and hugging in a little bit? Releasing the knee. From here, go ahead and sit back one more time into child's. Sweep the arms all the way down alongside the body. So let's give the wrists a little bit of a break. You can rotate them a bit if you like. Again, tucking the chin, bringing the head down. A little bit more space across the shoulders in this variation of the posture. And not all postures are comfortable for everybody. So making sure that you always adapt for you. On the inhale, slowly coming up. Hands coming back down, tucking the toes under, lifting into our down dog. See if you can come up and hold perfectly still. So instead of doing your normal um, routine that you do here, see if you can break some of those um, patterns so that again we're being fully present and not just going into some of our movement patterns or habits. And now from here, bend the right knee, pressing through the left heel, and it's okay if the heel doesn't go down, right? <clears throat> and then bending the left knee, pressing long and strong through the right. to breathe here. The elbow pit still hugging in. Nice. All right, making our way into plank. And so in plank, pull the abs in a bit and tuck the tail slightly. So thinking of making a little less space between your hips and ribs in the front of your body. And then noticing what's going on through the shoulders. So if you're pushing through the upper back and rounding, you don't want that, but we also don't want to collapse all the way down. So find the space in the middle. Taking another breath here. And then knees coming down, lowering down onto the abdomen. Tops of the feet down. Hug the elbows in alongside the body. And lift into cobra three breaths. So staying long through the back of the neck again. So gazing down towards the mat, bringing this heart opening posture. Toes stay down. Notice how your diaphragm presses against the mat. So strengthen the diaphragm here. turning the head towards the right, arms alongside the body. And if it's comfortable for your toes to turn in and heels out, you might want to lift the thighs and get that rotation starting all the way up through the hips. breath here. And 
on the exhale, lower down, turning the head towards the left. And again, letting everything round forward. Feeling the pull of gravity, the sense of support underneath. Almost as if to listen with that ear to everything going on underneath us. So lots of growth during the springtime. Slowly lifting up. And from here, hands alongside the body, pressing back through table, tucking the toes, moving into down dog. And hugging those elbows in towards one another. Looking back at the feet. up between the hands and stepping up the right foot and then the left. Inhale, come up half high and exhale, come into that forward fold. Tucking the chin. Again, it's your choice if you want to bend the knees a little bit or keep the legs straight. What is most useful or helpful in your body today in this moment? Slight bend in the knees and finding the weight in the heels and the sit bones, sweeping the arms out and up. Hands coming to heart center. And Tadasana. So standing in our mountain and shifting the weight side to side. And then a little forward and back, so getting familiar with the feet. And from here, taking the arms out. Notice if when you bring your arms out, you tend to go into a back bend and think of pulling the front of your ribs in a little bit. So maintaining that stability here. And taking the right arm on top of the left. Bending the elbows. And from here, lift the elbows slightly. And on an exhale, start to bend the knees, lower the elbows, coming into chair here. Core is engaged. Again, find that stability and security, sending energy and awareness all the way down. On the inhale, coming up, opening your arms, reaching as wide as you can. And now left arm coming on top, taking the elbows up. And on an exhale, coming down into chair. Easing the arms in, keep breathing here. On the inhale, rising up, releasing the arms. All right, from here, doing that lateral stretch again, standing. So arms coming up overhead, go ahead and grab the left wrist, press down through the left foot, and reach towards the right. Keep in mind that if this compresses those vertebra in your low back, right, if there's too much of this kind of going on, bend the knees, tuck the tail a little bit, create space in the low back, and then you'll find a deeper stretch in the side body. Back to center, grabbing a hold of the other wrist, pressing down through that right foot, and reaching towards the left, again, taking note of how your low back is feeling in this shape. Back to center, releasing the arms. All right, shifting the weight towards the left leg. Find your focal point, something to keep your eyes on. So we did this seated, now we'll try it standing. Um, take the knee, externally rotate. And the foot can come here, it can come higher, it can skip over the knee, so totally your call. And hips and shoulders pointing forward, continue to engage the glutes and open up this hip to your level of comfort. And 
hands at heart center. So start by softening through the jaw, the neck and shoulders. Once you've made that connection with breath, if you want the arms overhead, I invite you to keep them a little bit wider than normal. to be good one to be practicing so it keeps us fully engaged to be able to balance like that and teaches us to be patient <laughs> um, to make sure our inner voice is being encouraging or it's being quiet so shifting to the other side and it's a good reminder to keep our balance maybe when those around us are losing theirs so placing that foot finding that strength and stability really rooting in your tree. So make sure that your roots and your trunk are solid. Before growing your branches. by bringing the top arm 
down and placing it, if it's okay for your shoulder, on the sacrum, and then starting to turn the gaze up towards the ceiling, rotating that rib cage slightly. Nice, hugging the abdominal muscles in. Remember your head is an extension of your spine, so take care of your neck. Slowly bending the knee, reaching the top arm up towards the ceiling, and then coming back to your warrior. Good. And now going into that lateral angle, so bringing the elbow down towards the knee, top arm reaches up, and this time it reaches over, lengthening from the edge of your back foot to your fingertips. Good job on not collapsing into that shoulder. Coming back up, from here, pivot the foot forward, come down into a straddle forward fold. And again, move in any way that your body needs. There's no right or wrong. Just exploring whether or not it's helpful. Is it safer today to bring the feet in a little bit and get more of a foundation underneath? Or can you engage the inner thighs enough to make sure that you're not putting all of the strain on the back to come out? So again, making those choices that are good for us. So maintaining some self-care, really important for continuing to uh, grow that resilience, right? <laughs> so going on to the other side and bending that knee to 90 degrees or less. Good. And then again, working from the feet up. So pulling up a little bit on the arches if you tend to roll in and engaging the inner thighs like you're pulling the mat in, making that wrinkle in the middle. So scissoring the legs, arms coming out to T. Once again, still maintaining that stability in the middle, that support, lifting everything in and up, and then turning the palms up, soften the elbows, so bring a spacious quality to the heart center so that we're not gripping there. Especially need to send that compassion out, maintaining the strength and stability. And again, making sure you're breathing. Mental clarity. the leg straight, tipping into a triangle. And bringing the top hand down, placing it on the sacrum if that's comfortable for your shoulder. And then rotating. Gazing up. front knee, reaching the top arm up towards the ceiling, and then coming back into your warrior. And now from here on an exhale, elbow going down to the knee, reaching that top arm up and over, so finding that line of energy. So we've got this nice open quality on one side of the body and this really strong, stable, secure side. Inhale, coming back up. One more time into that straddle forward fold. So you can even turn the toes in, heels out if you want a little bit more opening through the SI. Center. 
good. All right, our circle of joy. So working with loosening up any kind of gripping around the heart, the shoulders, um, and connecting our breath with our movement. So interlace the fingers. Inhale, come up the front of the body. Exhale, press forward. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, sweep them down. Inhale, heart slides forward. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in. Breathing out. In. posture. So let's go ahead and work with our warrior three. So remember in warrior three, um, we're working on kind of leveling the pelvis. So it tends to um, want to roll out a little bit because this feels a little bit more stable than this. Um, but we want to engage those stabilizing muscles, the glute meat especially. So when you're ready, let's start with our, let's keep our hands at heart center. So a little bit more grounding instead of extending our arms coming out. So placing the thumbs on the sternum. And then when you're ready, tipping. So remember when you lift the leg, the head lowers. So moving like a board. And it doesn't matter how far, right? You can stop at a 45 degree angle you can keep going. And then working with leveling the pelvis. So turning those toes in of the lifted leg. Continue to breathe. of the ears and we just gently cover the eyes with the fingers. 
and so buzz as long as you can exhale. Draw another breath in and do it again, and then just wait for everyone to finish. So here we go.